This is the 1996 Impala SS. Its style and performance characteristics have placed it in high demand. Along with the Caprice Classic, it provides a full-size buyer with safety, roominess, luxury, and outstanding trailer towing capability. Feature for feature, the Caprice Classic and Impala SS are the best full-size values in America. This year will be buyer's last chance to get the Caprice and Impala SS, cars that have a lot of tradition, history, and a group of loyal buyers behind them. And that's a great opportunity for you. For 1996, the Caprice Classic will be built in both four-door sedan and station wagon models, while the stylish and sporty Impala SS sedan will also be available. Like all Chevrolet cars, 1996 marks the addition of the OBD2 system. OBD2 stands for a second generation of onboard diagnostics, a system that will help analyze engine and emissions performance and alert the driver when there's a possible problem. This smart system will also indicate when the performance is not up to requirements. Cheryl Balsley worked on the OBD2 system for Chevrolet's V8 engines and explains its features and operations. There are two modes that OBD2 can control the service engine soon light in. There's a steady on light, which indicates that a malfunction has been detected in an emission related component or system, or a flashing service engine soon light, which indicates that a misfire has been detected in the engine. If the service engine soon light comes on solid, the owner should first go to the owner's manual and check out the various steps that are in there regarding checking fuel quality, making sure the vehicle is not running low on fuel and making sure that you haven't recently driven through deep water getting electrical components in the vehicle wet. If the service engine soon light starts flashing, it indicates that a misfire has been detected in the engine. A misfire can result in higher emissions and damage to emission-related components in the engine. If this situation occurs, there's a series of steps to follow in the owner's manual to reduce the load on the engine. That would be avoid climbing steep grades, slow the vehicle down, reduce the weight in the vehicle. And this should get the light from a flashing service engine soon light back to a steady on light. And then the vehicle should be taken into the dealership for service and repair. Also new this year is a floor-mounted automatic shifter on the Impala SS for the standard electronically controlled four-speed automatic overdrive transmission. It gives the performance-oriented Impala SS a more sporty cockpit. And a standard analog tachometer is added on the Impala SS for 1996. It allows the driver to monitor engine revolutions at a glance. There's also a new storage armrest on the Caprice for storing items like cassettes or a wallet out of sight. The Caprice and Impala SS feature a total safety system that includes drivers and passenger side airbags and standard four-wheel anti-lock brakes, a feature you may have to pay extra for on the competition. In the area of security, the standard Passkey 2 anti-theft system uses a resistor pellet embedded into the key. If a thief tries to start a vehicle without the properly coded key, the car's electronic control module will disable both the starter motor and fuel flow making it impossible to start the car. The standard engine on the Capri sedan is the 4300 V8 that pounds out 200 horsepower. Optional on the Capri sedan and standard on the wagon and this Impala SS is the 5.7 liter V8 engine with 260 horsepower. Both engines are teamed with an electronically controlled four-speed automatic transmission that utilizes a variety of sensors to match the right shift points with the engine's requirements. A comfortable big car ride is a Caprice trademark. Both the Caprice and Impala SS feature an independent short and long arm front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. Coil springs are used at all four wheels to help cushion road bumps, while a front stabilizer bar reduces body roll in tight turns. Lewis Cole, segment planning engineer on the Caprice, helped explain some of the specific suspension features that differentiate the Impala SS. The suspension on the Impala SS is considered to be a much heavier duty suspension than what's on their base Caprice. The increase in the size of the front stabilizer bar, the addition of a rear stabilizer bar allows the car to handle much flatter around corners. We added 17 inch tires and wheels, rear disc brakes, much heavier duty front brakes, 
and decarbon shocks to really improve the ride of the car. Caprice and Impala SS are the only Chevrolet passenger cars to feature full-frame construction. This design, when combined with rear-wheel drive, provides outstanding trailer towing capability for Caprice, up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped. The Caprice has undergone significant changes since the body style was introduced in 1990, and buyers have made the Impala SS a hit since its introduction. Again, Lewis Cole explains some of the specific styling differences that set the Impala SS apart. Some of the specific differences between the Impala SS and the Caprice are the monochromatic paint scheme that's on the car. All of the chrome has been removed except that around the greenhouse. The wheel openings are all black. We put a spoiler on the deck lid. We blacked out the chrome on the taillights. The Caprice and Impala SS boast a roomy, comfortable interior that is loaded with comfort and convenience features, like standard air conditioning with R134A refrigerant, tilt steering wheel, and power door locks. Available sound systems feature up to six speakers and can be equipped with a cassette or compact disc player, like this here. The sound systems also include features like speed compensated volume, automatic tone control, and dual playback. The trunk on sedan models has over 20 cubic feet of cargo space. That's enough to carry four sets of golf clubs and additional luggage. And don't forget about the Caprice Wagon. It's a great alternative for people who don't want a minivan. The wagon features a multi-purpose tailgate that can be either folded down or swung out like a door. And with eight passenger capacity, or 92.7 cubic feet of cargo room, the Caprice Wagon can carry more cargo than any other station wagon. The Caprice and Impala SS boast many of the easy-to-own features that are standard on other Chevrolet cars. Features like spill-resistant Scotchgard fabric protector on the cloth seat fabric and carpeting, and Chevrolet's genuine customer care program. Once again in 1996, Caprice will feature the popular marketing cars. These cars are well-contented and value-priced for full-size buyers, starting with the value-leading Caprice Classic sedan with PEG 1SA. It includes features like rear reading lamps, power antenna, and heated rear view mirrors. The feature vehicle is for buyers wanting added luxury. Package 1SC adds remote keyless entry, Twilight Sentinel, a custom interior package, and more. Wagon buyers will want package 1SD, while the sporty Impala SS is loaded as the full-size luxury performance sedan of choice. Several generations have grown up with Caprices and Impalas. My dad used to own them. We had a 67, a 70, a 74, all the way down the line. There are a lot of buyers out there who will want that last chance at getting their hands on a 1996 Caprice or Impala SS. For them, these cars mean only one thing, uncompromised, full-size value. And the 1996 Caprice Classic sedan and wagon and Impala SS epitomize this value. A value that means genuine Chevrolet. Thanks for watching.